After a whole year, I am back with the same phone Xperia S but with the latest Android that's Android Nugget 7.0 and to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be on this phone. Here is the most hyped feature, multi window that will allow multiple apps to run simultaneously on the same screen. It had a lag while loading and selecting the apps but the overall performance was good. And considering that this is a 5 year old device, I am pretty sure it will run smoothly on the new devices. I did try to change the orientation and see it in the landscape mode. With a significant lag it was able to do it. But I don't think this phone is perfect for multi window because of the size of the screen. There were some videos stating that you can change the size of the apps in the multi window like if you want one app bigger than the other. You can do that by sliding the button that's in the center. But it didn't work as apps would take back their original place and size. I think that there is some kind of restriction on the screen size. The quick settings have been redesigned and now they are even quicker to use. The ones on the top will work as toggles that will only turn off and on the feature. There was one thing that I missed the most in this window. That is the upcoming alarm label. Earlier, when you access the quick settings, it would show me the time of the upcoming alarm. But now it is not there, just the icon is present. They can be rearranged according to your preferences and the first 5 would also be there along with the notifications working as on off toggles. The number of tiles are more and that's why they have introduced pages in quick settings. You can switch through the pages in that too. The notifications have changed a bit. Now they are grouped together and you can swipe them down to know in more detail and reply to each of them separately which in my opinion is a quite useful feature. In the earlier versions of Android, the notifications were collapsed in one single line but that's not the case now. They are grouped together and they will form two or three lines together. One of the most useful feature in this new OS is the instant switching. It helps you switch between the two apps by tapping the recent apps button two times. It will switch back and forth between the ones that's running and the one that was last used by you. Coming to the settings app, it also provides suggestions now and there is a single line description of the main settings that's very helpful. Like in the case of Wi-Fi, it states the one that I am connected to, so I don't have to open it just to see that. It now comes with a navigation bar, which I think is by far the most useful thing right now. Now as we are on the memory usage, I think the performance is great. I can easily do 2-3 to three tasks simultaneously and it's more than enough for a 1GB RAM device. The only thing that I didn't like was the power consumption. Yes, it consumes a lot of battery and I know that it says 20 hours left but trust me it doesn't even stay like that in an ideal state for 20 hours. So this was it guys, if you want to install Android 7, here is the link for that and also in the description. If you liked it, do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. 